Right guys, got the Dodge back over in the shop tonight. And this old carburetor is uh, running okay, but it's missing the whole top of the accelerator pump. And I'll, I'll show you what I mean when I take that off. But the whole cap is gone and you can't seem to buy that cap. Uh, so the accelerator pump doesn't work. So it's really hard to start and it red lights and stuff whenever you take off, you have to like baby the throttle to get it to go. So, got an NOS brand new carburetor. It's been sitting in this box, completely factory rebuilt for years. So, should be awesome. So it looks real nice. So, this is uh, pretty much the exact same as what's on there. This is a little bit older model, uh, which is just like this one. So, we knew this one was in the back of the truck actually. So somebody had got this whole thing and I guess maybe tried to make it work. I'm not sure. Um, so anyways, um, so the one that's on there, uh, I knew would work with this one because these two match, obviously you can see this one looks a lot better. So that should be good. So but it's a good parts carburetor. You know, there's a few things missing on there. Get this other one off. Like I said, it's a good carburetor but the uh the top of the accelerator pump and capper is a different design um so pull this top off and show you what i mean all right guys so right here is where that accelerator pump is supposed to be and like i said the whole top cap is going so it's amazing it runs as good as it does um so new carburetor should fix all of our issues we just got to get this other stuff unhooked and get this thing unbolted all right, old one is off here, and uh, I'm about to get uh, the AC solenoid moved over to here, and uh, take off our air cleaner holder, and should be about it. All right, guys, so solenoid on here now. That's hooked up. Got it nice and tight on there. Everything else is good. So now we're just gonna and set this down in place. There you go. Get our choke hook backed up, kick down hook back up, the gas line hooked up, uh, and all of our random vacuums and the throttle cable. So, that now. All right, so the choke cable, this goes through it and then clips onto it like that. So this has to go through your little lever there, but it's also got to go through this. So I'm trying to get that all lined up. There it goes. Snapped in and then you just push this down and it holds it in. Pretty simple. So there's a few of those on here. Um, that's the choke there. The other one is the kick down and then um, your throttle on there the uh, kick down one is the same way it's just um, a little bit bigger because it's a larger rod and it's around here it clicks on the same way so here's the clip for the throttle cable and it pops in there and it slides up this locks it on in place and it's kind of weird. It's this little ball, this little thing here, and it, it goes onto a prefab rod. It sticks out of the carb linkage here. Just snaps on. Like that. And this will go on the end of it. And I'll, I'll drop it. That's it. So now the throttle is all locked together. All right, wires are hooked back up, hoses are hooked back up, fuels hooked back up. All of the linkages are on, except for cruise control, which doesn't work, so. And I don't like cruise control anyway, so we won't hook it up. This truck really doesn't need it because I'm not going to Florida in it. 
All right, I'm gonna go ahead and fire it up. Hopefully it cranks up and just runs beautifully. What'd you think? Yeah. Just it over. Wow. <laughs> that started much quicker than I thought it would. Oh, you know why? Because there was fuel all in the, in the rails. And it, so now you have to pump it up. Nothing yet. I don't see any fuel spraying yet. Mm -mm. Figured it had pumped up by then. There's a little bit in there. All right, starting fluid. Tiny bit left. All right, hit it. All right, hit it. Hit it. Grab that other can. This one's out. I know it. Hmm. All right, so we figured out what's going on with the carburetor. We ended up putting the old uh, needle and seat actually is in this piece right here, which is kind of cool. Um, we ended up taking the old one off of the carburetor we knew was working and put it in there. So the new one was stuck. I actually had to pull it out and it went, you know, just from sitting over years as an NOS one. So it's been sitting around for a long time. Probably could have left the new one in, but I went ahead and put the old one in. We'll keep it for parts. Um, and that seemed to work. I actually took the whole top of the carburetor off. I could see the gas spraying in. So now it's actually running. Uh, go ahead and fire it up, Daddy. Look at that. Fired up quick, dude. Then. Yeah. Go ahead and drop it in gear and then hold the brake and try to see if it'll bog down. Oh yeah. No more dead spot, no more hard starting, it should be good to go now. That's it. Put the same back together.